In this video, I'm going to analyze 10 high growth dividend stocks. These are companies that reliably increase their dividend payments on an annual basis, averaging over 10% growth. Dividend growth stocks can be fantastic long-term investments, compounding over time, eventually paying out significant dividend income that you could live off of. If you stick around to the end, I'll have a few bonus stocks that just barely missed the cut. My name is Zach and you should leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video. The research tool I'm going to be using throughout this analysis is my own dividend investing software which is available at DividendData.com. It allows me to analyze my portfolio, track my dividend income, and conduct in-depth research on companies. If you like what you see, then sign up at DividendData.com. Link in the description and pinned comment. Stock number one is Lowe's, ticker symbol LOW. This home in Improvement retailer currently operates 1,971 stores while also selling its products online. The company has fast growing earnings, resulting in massive dividend growth. Over the past 10 years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 19%. Their most recent dividend increase was over 33%, which is massive. This will likely trend down closer to 10 to 15% long term. The current payout ratio is 23%, giving lots of room to grow the dividend over time, reinvest in the business, and buy back shares. Lowe's has been buying back shares at a high rate over the past 15 years. The company has grown its free cash flow per share at a 19% CAGR over the past 10 years, matching its dividend growth. The current dividend yield is 1.6%. An honorable mention here is Home Depot, ticker symbol HD, which is very similar to Lowe's. Its dividend growth rate is slightly lower and its payout ratio is higher. Comment below if you want to see a full video comparing Lowe's and Home Depot stock. Stock number two is Intuit, ticker symbol INTU. This is a software company that owns TurboTax, QuickBooks, Mint, Credit Karma, and MailChimp. They focus on financial and business software for individuals, small businesses, self-employed, and accounting professionals. Historically, TurboTax has been their largest business, making their earnings highly seasonal. However, through their 2021 acquisition of MailChimp and the growth of other businesses, Intuit is building reliable subscription revenue throughout the year. The company has a low starting dividend yield of 0.54%, but attempts to make that up with growth. The dividend has a 10-year compound annual growth rate of 16.6%. Their latest dividend increase was 15.25%. The payout ratio is 31% based on net income, but 23% based on free cash flow. They have plenty of room to continue growing the dividend and reinvest in the business. Their free cash flow has grown as 16% CAGR over the past 10 years and 28% over the past 5 years. With Intuit, I think you can expect reliably high growth rates in the future. Stock number 3. Three is Domino's Pizza, ticker symbol DPZ. Yes, the pizza company. Although it may be surprising, this company is a growth machine, consistently opening new stores with a simple menu and a great food delivery service. Its earnings are growing at a high rate and it currently trades at a 1% starting dividend yield. Over the past five years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 20%. They just had a 17% dividend increase. The payout ratio is 27%. So there's plenty of room for growing the dividend, reinvesting in the business, and buying back shares. Domino's has had large share buybacks over the past decade. The company is growing its free cash flow per share at a 27% 10-year compound annual growth rate. Domino's seems like a dividend growth machine. Stock number four is Visa, ticker symbol V. This is the largest global digital payment network. Visa has reliable earnings growth and is currently trading at a 0.7% starting dividend yield. Over the past 10 years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 21% and over the past five years, it's 17.55%. They just had a 17% dividend increase. The payout ratio is 22%, leaving lots of room for dividend growth. This is a super high margin business with low operating expenses. It's highly scalable, meaning more profits do not raise expenses significantly. This frees up a significant amount of capital to be paid out as dividends, reinvested back into the business, or used to buy back shares. They have been consistently buying back shares over the past decade. 
I think Visa is a great long-term dividend stock, and I made a full stock review video on the channel. An honorable mention here is MasterCard, ticker symbol MA, which is the second largest global digital payment network. It's very similar, and comment below if you want a full video comparing Visa and MasterCard stock. Stock number five is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. This software giant owns Windows, Office 365, Azure Cloud, Xbox, LinkedIn, Visual Studio, GitHub, and much, much more. Microsoft has reliably fast-growing earnings and is currently trading at a 0.8% starting dividend yield. Over the past 10 years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 11.9%. They just had a 10.7% dividend increase. The current payout ratio is 26%, so there's plenty of room to grow the dividend, reinvest in the business, and buy back shares. They've been consistently repurchasing shares. Free cash flow per share has been growing at a 10% 10-year CAGR and 19% over the past five years. In recent years, the growth rate has accelerated, which is interesting for a company as large as Microsoft. This is one of the best dividend growth stocks, and I cover it frequently on the channel. Stock number six is Broadcom, ticker symbol AVGO. This semiconductor company designs, develops, and supplies various semiconductor devices and infrastructure software. Broadcom has grown its earnings at a high rate and is currently trading at a 2.6% dividend yield. The 10-year CAGR of the dividend is 43%, 31% over 5 years and 17% over 3 years. Dividend growth is slowing down, with its latest increase being 13.89%. The payout ratio is 92% of gap net income, but 50% of free cash flow. Free cash flow is the more relevant metric here. Free cash flow per share is growing at a high rate. However, the rate of growth has started to slow in recent years. It's still very impressive though. Comment below if you want a full stock review of the company. Stock number seven is Texas Instruments, ticker symbol TXN. This semiconductor company develops analog and embedded chips. Their earnings grow at a high rate and it has a current dividend yield of 2.5%. Over the past 10 years, the CAGR of the dividend is 21%, 18% over 5 years, and 14% over 3 years. Their most recent dividend increase was 12.75%. The payout ratio is 50%. TXN has bought back stock reliably over the past decade. Their free cash flow also grows at a high rate. Recently, I made a full stock review video on the company. Stock number eight is ABV, ticker symbol ABBV. This is a pharmaceutical company that spun out of Abbott Laboratories in 2013. Their earnings grow at a high rate and they currently trade at a 3.5% dividend yield. Over the past five years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 17.44% and the three-year CAGR is 10%. AbbVie's most recent dividend increase is 8.4%. Their payout ratio is 45% of free cash flow. It's growing free cash flow per share at a 24% CAGR over the past five years and 13% over the past three years. Financially, AbbVie has been a dividend growth machine. Stock number nine is United Health Group, ticker symbol UNA. This is a diversified healthcare company operating in insurance, services, and software. Their earnings reliably grow and it's currently trading at a starting dividend yield of 1.1%. Over the past 10 years, the CAGR of the dividend is 24.3%, 18% over the past 5 years, and 17% over the past 3 years. The most recent dividend increase was 16%. The payout ratio is 30%, leaving lots of room for growth. Growth. The free cash flow per share has grown at a 14% 10-year CAGR and 19.8% 5-year CAGR. Dividend growth will likely continue at a high rate. Stock number 10 is T. Rowe Price Group, ticker symbol T. Rowe. This asset management company provides mutual funds and advisory services. T. Rowe grows earnings at a high rate and pays a fast-growing dividend with large special dividends. Over the past 10 years, the compound annual growth rate of the dividend is 14%. Its most recent dividend increase was 11%. The payout ratio is 35%, excluding years with special dividends. Free 
cash flow per share has grown out of 15% cager over the past 10 years. During the last five years, T. Rowe has been buying back shares at a sizable amount. I think this is an attractive stock at current prices and recently made a full stock review video. So that's a brief overview of my top 10 dividend growth stocks. Honorable mentions that just missed the cut include Starbucks, Costco, Nike, Sherwin-Williams, and Kroger. Comment below if you want to hear more about any of these stocks. If you found this interesting, subscribe and sign up for DividendData.com to use this software and join our Discord community. If you follow me on Twitter, link in the description, you can get real-time updates of my buys and dividends coming in. Thanks for watching.